Wendell Thomas is a 20-year cancer survivor. At 41, he was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Today, he thrives, enjoying life with his wife and a new career that, let's say, is wine and roses. I'm Rendell Thomas. I'm a certified sommelier and retired television director, and I'm a prostate cancer survivor for 20 years now. Currently, I'm a certified sommelier, which means I'm a wine consultant, wine educator, and I advise people uh, about different avenues of wine and wine and food pairings. Plus, I'm also uh, studying for my master sommelier certificate. I really didn't know that much about prostate cancer before my diagnosis. Um, my wife had suggested I start being tested for that because I was 41 at the time. So at that, at that time, the PSA blood test was the first step for me to take in finding out if I was at risk or not. So I really didn't know that much until my wife brought it to my attention. And my wife, Dr. Tina Mason, was important, super important, in helping us discover that we had this problem, that I needed to address the cancer issue. In my case, I was lucky. My wife is a physician, so she knew what the current um, research was saying. So therefore, she was very supportive with that, and she supported me you know, in my recovery period while I was out of work for five to six weeks. You need to have some type of spirituality that's gonna help you get through this. And I can't express enough how important it is to stay positive throughout this whole thing. My reaction to the learning about me having prostate cancer was pretty phenomenal, it was really big. I it kinda of went into a dream state slash surreal. It was really surreal when I, when I got the news from the physician. Um, I just really couldn't believe it. So I was kinda of numb to the whole thing for a long time. My wife and other people around me seemed to be more affected than I was, but after the surgery, that's when it really sank in. Once I went through the process of having the surgery um, um, and being a prostate cancer survivor, I was kind of like a poster boy uh, spokesperson to talk about prostate cancer to people that were my age. At that time, I was 41. So anybody that was within my age bracket, my brother, you know, some of my colleagues, we were always talking about I need, you need to get your test, you need to get your test, or at least you need to ask your physician about it and get some information on it. I discovered after the fact, after I had cancer, after I survived it, that my dad had it. I didn't know that beforehand. My, uh, my uncle had it, a couple of my, of my cousins had it. So it was in my family, it was in my family, but no one ever talked about it, you know. Families don't tend to talk about illnesses. That's one thing we need to talk about because we're the ones that are gonna be more likely to have those illnesses those illnesses because we're related. No one really talked about prostate cancer that much 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, nobody definitely talked about it because everybody thought it was an old, or old man's disease and it, it really isn't, it is not. You need to have some type of test in order to explore it, especially if you're of a certain age, certain ethnicity, and if it's a, if it's a problem that your family has had or males in your family have had before. Had I not had that blood test, PSA test, then we may not be having this conversation right now. I mean, we have never known that I had cancer. 